a welcome to another DIY science experiment session with me Khushi Gupta. So, let's get started. So, how many drops of water you can get on a coin? Let's perform this activity and quickly move to our workstation to check it out. The materials required for this science experiment are a coin, a pipette, eye drop or a straw, I am taking a straw and a clear water. Now place the straw in some water and then put your finger over the end. You can now remove the straw and keep the water inside. This works due to air pressure holding the water up. You could use a pipette or dropper to make this science activity easier too. If you are using the straw like me, carefully remove your finger to release your first drop of water. Keep adding water drops. If you look from the side, you should start to see the water begin to bulge over the side of the coin. Keep going until the water spills over the side of the coin. So, we just performed this activity. What did we observe? Any guesses? This is because of surface tension. Surface tension uh, made a kind of skin all around the coin which supports and holds the water to the maximum extent. Let's watch a PPT to make it more clear. Drops on coin. The science behind the activity The attractive forces between water molecules draw the molecules together. This happens in all liquids. At the surface, the molecules are touching fewer other molecules and so their attractive forces are stronger with the molecules they are touching beside and below them. This holds the surface molecules together and holds the water in place over the coin, stopping water spillage for much longer than you would expect. Because of surface tension, liquid surfaces act like a kind of skin able to support small insects and materials on their surface. So, I hope you are all clear with the science behind this experiment. Perform this activity at your home and share your videos with us. Bye-bye till the next time.